Hey everyone, so you want to get into product design but you don't know where to start or what the design process is. Well, I will take you through a brief overview of the design process and I'll take you through the ideation process, the sketching part, um, just realizing your ideation, thinking through drawing, thinking on paper, the modeling part and some quick tips on how to do good renders. So briefly about the product, I just want to make a table lamp to start with something simple. I went for a minimal design um, and, and I was inspired by softbox lighting. If you don't know what that is, that is the kind of lighting that you find in photo studios. They give a pleasing soft diffuse light. First step is the ideation process. So you sort of start sketching with the front view and the side view and not really the 3D view because the key idea, the key principle is speed, right? So you want to think on paper first of all and you wanna, so you don't get into a lot of details. You just sort of try to imagine how it will look 3D in your mind. And then, you know, this idea, I quite liked it. So I did a 3D sketch, but um, you know, like afterwards I discarded it because I thought it wasn't really good. And that's another thing about speed because you didn't really spend a lot of time on it. It's easy to discard it, you know? Um, so the next one was this design and I sort of thought a suspension design. So like a floating design would look cool, but again, I discarded that as well. And then I came up on this design. So again, you don't know what you're gonna start with. So just draw quickly on paper by 2D and then just see what you like. Um, so I quite like this design. So I did a 3D sketch of it. And then I quickly jumped onto Blender and I did a render of it. And of course Blender, because you know, Blender is quite good for this stage because the industrial standard is actually SOLIDWORKS. So, so why not SOLIDWORKS? Well, because I think SOLIDWORKS come later in the process and because it's very accurate, very precise, it's very good for engineering, but we're just not there yet. Um, and also Blender has a really good render engine and it's good for the aesthetic and the design and everything. And SOLIDWORKS, you have to pair it up with, uh, with Keyshot or another render engine like that. Now, moving on, you have to figure out how it's gonna rotate, figure out the small details about it. And then I saw on Pinterest, this really good clean design that gives me a freedom of movement that I'm happy with. So I have to figure out how this, um, how this arm is going to connect to the pill. So again, front view, top view, and, and you know, and now that you have a good understanding of it, you just do a 3D view of it. And I have to admit as well, so my drawings were even worse because it's going on YouTube. I sort of made it look presentable as well, but again, no focus on, you know, the aesthetics for now, uh, no, especially for sketching, the only, purpose of it is to help you think uh, moving on so you model it in blender as well and there you go so this is a render now the rendering part you almost never start out with your final render now this was not my final render i initially did it with a three uh, an infinity canvas i think that's what you call it, the green part and those are two color variations as well but i think the infinity canvas is a little bit out of date it's not as trendy anymore What's trendy now is these like low saturation colors and materials such as such as marble or other like natural materials. Um, just look online on Pinterest and that kind of stuff and you will find how other designers present their work. Even though it is a really good design, if the presentation is a bit crappy, your, your product looks also crappy. Um, so yeah, so that was a quick overview. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it.